if your ancestors told you to come here and live and they didn't give you a plan to make money, you need to get rid of them ancestors and go join a new, new family. I'm sorry. If my ancestors told me to come here and didn't give me no plan and didn't give me no guide, it didn't. I'm going I'm to I'm go get myself adopted into a new family and find some new ancestors because apparently, apparently y'all playing in my face. And I don't like that. I don't Hi, it's your girl Bad Luck Kitty or you can call me Kitty. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I want to have a conversation that I feel like we've been avoiding in the black community here in America. I don't know if we've been avoiding it or we are keeping it culture and keeping it quiet or um, I, I don't know. I don't know exactly what we're doing. I don't. I, I know what we're doing, right? Because no one wants to be the raging black person, all right? No one wants to be the raging black woman, the raging black man, the angry black person. We don't want to be that person, right? We also don't want to be the person to our own people, right? However, if we only talk about it amongst ourselves, we miss the greater community. We also miss those people who are gonna come here and be the reason why we continue to have to have these conversations amongst ourselves, okay? So let's just get into it, right? Everyone knows that Merida is the Yucatan Peninsula is a very magical place. It is full of magic, it is full of healing, it is full of treasured powers, okay? The Mayan culture is strong here, okay? Um, and the connection from Afro-Indigenous to Mayan culture, it, it, it's like a direct pipeline, right? So with that being said, a lot of people gravitate toward Merida, okay? Cool, that's beautiful, right? Seeking peace. We, a lot of us came to Merida, came to Mexico, escaping the U.S. in particular, seeking peace, okay? I joked, I felt like I escaped on the Southern Railroad, honey. I, I ran south of the border, okay? Just like some of the ancestors did back in the day from Texas, Louisiana, and Mississippi. They went south into Mexico because they, they were too far south to make it north, okay? So let's just, let's just be honest. With that being said, everybody wants to be a priestess, an enchantress, a goddess, a herbalist, a spiritualist of some sort, right? And then when they're working in that craft, they want to sell those gifts to everybody else. And when it comes down to selling those gifts to everybody else, it's a market for everything, right? There is a market for everything. However, I don't know if marketing is not the best gift per se or a skill going along with that, but a lot of people are not making the money that they think they should make once they get to Merida. A, you're trying to sell something to me for U.S. dollars in Mexico. Baby, I left the U.S. because I didn't want to pay U.S. dollars unless it's something that I can't get in the U.S., for example, 140 peso uh, barbecue chips that I buy for my daughter, or the, the 140 peso Cheeto puffs, I'm gonna pay that because I can't get I can't get the I can't get the the Cheeto puffs and the barbecue chips that she like. Now we don't get a lot of those, but I take care of my baby. I treat my baby. She can get the 140 peso barbecue chips and Cheeto puffs here and there, right? But you're selling a spiritual gift, something that I can also get from the locals, right? So a lot of people come here and they're looking for a way out of the U.S. And they say, you know what I'm gonna sell? I'm gonna sell my tarot skills. I'm gonna sell my, I know I'm gonna make some people mad with this video too. I'm gonna sell my, my intuitive skills or my, uh, uh, I don't even know all the words because I'm, I'm into it, right? I'm into the, to the, to the woo-woo, but I don't know all the proper words for it as it pertains to Afro-Indigenous people, right? I'm not a grand rising, I say good morning, right? I, I, don't, I don't, I don't call everybody king and queen and, and I, I don't do all that. Don't mean I don't respect it, it just mean, it just ain't me, right? So when they come and they're looking for a way, okay, I need to make X, Y, Z amount of dollars to live. 
So I'm going to move to Mexico, and because I have this skill, I just need to sell X, Y, Z amount, and I need to start a YouTube, or I need to, and we're doing all these little mini hustle things, right, hoping that all of these things will eventually fall into a pot and equal enough money to survive, right? I feel like I'm rambling, but I don't really, I don't want to offend anybody, but at the same time, it's got to be said. Stop coming here trying to sell spiritual gifts and ending up in bullshit. Okay, that's that's what it comes down to. All right, that's 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 all it comes down to. While I was on vacation, I received a, a message about a situation that was going on here with a person. Now, because this person and I have a similar social group, and when I say similar social group, I don't even know exactly how similar the group is because I reached out to people and they was like. I know this person in passing, I don't know this person deeply, you know? And um, it came out, and I'm gonna put it up on the screen, but I'm also going to read it from my phone so that you can see what was said in the message. Uh, I'm not gonna put what the person said to me in the message, but I'm gonna put what the person screenshot from a Facebook group, okay? says neighbors good morning this is actually the translated version also just want to put it out because it was written in spanish not in english but this is the translated version from the facebook group okay it says neighbors good morning i usually don't do this but i just want to warn you and protect each other this lady is from the united states of origin and i have rented to her for five months a small apartment i have she always says that she has no money and she will pay and never paid me i only pay the first I only pay the first month and after that whenever I was going to charge he told me he didn't have work therefore I owe four months I trust but never pay until today I had to tell him to leave the department because besides it consumes a lot of light and therefore the expenses with this person are excessive I just want to warn you not to be surprised neighbors okay two things keep in mind it's a translation um, he, she, masculine, feminine kind of thing in text. So um, some words may come off as masculine more than feminine, not to be offensive to that person. And also, I don't know that person's pronouns. Uh, and also, department, uh, departamento is apartment in Spanish. So just another thing, okay? So they posted this in the Vecinos de Francisco de Montejo, which is the neighbors of Francisco de Montejo. Every neighborhood has a neighborhood Facebook group, right? I think it would be absolute, I would probably die, okay? Maybe not my new neighborhood, because I ain't been here that long, right? <laughs> ain't been here long enough. But in my old neighborhood, I would have a died, like just, just, just stretched out on the floor, Go to glory, just y'all come bring some flowers and, and get me a nice outfit. Make sure somebody do my makeup nice, okay? Because I would have been dead if somebody posted this in my old neighborhood Facebook group. Because why? I walk my dog with these people. I ate some of their houses. They would bring me food. They would check on me when the utilities were out. Um, you know, they would invite me over to parties. I would see them at the gym. They, these were my neighbors. These, these, Like I said, I was here. I had... Mexican friends before I had black friends here in, in Mexico. Like, I would have died if they put that on there for me, okay? So just for context, okay? So that was the first message. And then the second one is a screenshot of people responding in the comments, okay? So this person puts, I mean, that if I accepted payment promises, it's because you certainly took into account the factor that being a foreigner by culture in Mexico mostly assumes that foreigners come with money. The reality is that no. And in recent years, many have come foreigners staying illegally in Mexico. Not all but many. And finally, not so much that they stay illegally, but just come and add to the list of economically poor. And they end up offering their English, life coaching, and spiritual classing revolving around ancestral traditions with other nonsense. Now, I don't know about the nonsense part, that's a little offensive. That's my personal point of view. You can differ and that's fine. It's just my personal perspective. Hello and have a great afternoon. I'm gonna read you one more and then we're gonna come back and we're we gonna really talk about that one. And then this one right here was posted and says, here's her perf profile. This is proof that it, the woman already posted, I blacked it out, right? The woman already posted the person's 
face and picture and all that other stuff. This person then goes back and finds her profile and says, here's her profile, I already put her, I'm, um, put her, I'm angry and she returns to the country. If someone wants to collaborate and report her, also goes to immigration to get her out of the country. And then somebody says, um, it'll take too long, okay? So here's the thing, right? Don't play around. One thing Mexicans are gonna do, baby, they're gonna stick together. One thing we gotta, we gotta work on, right? However, another thing they're gonna do is they're gonna hold each other accountable. And that's another thing we gotta work on, right? So in regards to this whole situation, right? People come offering life coaching, all right? I don't know who certifies these people to be life coaches, but come being a life coach, uh, spiritual classes, and English classes, and um, doing hair, all right? Selling plates. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with a hustle, right? I love a good hustle. However, you cannot make your hustle your life source if you don't have hustle. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, you can't say, oh, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna offer these services, I'm gonna pay. Listen, you gotta find you a remote job of some sort, all right? You gotta clock, you gotta push a clock. If you came to Mexico to get out the struggle and the hustle and the bustle of the United States, then why would you come to Mexico only to continue to struggle is what I'm trying to fully understand. Selling the spirit, people, people are aware y'all. People, people are aware now. They also posted her business Facebook page and they also posted her business WhatsApp. All her, all her information, right? So everyone's like, oh, I have so many skills and I'm a serial entrepreneur and that, that's, that's beautiful. I think I may, I may fall under the realm of serial entrepreneur. However, I'm a full believer in jack of all trades, master of none. That's why I get rid of a lot of trades and I won't do a lot of things. Like you won't see me doing relocation specialist. I did consultancy for all of 30 days. I opened and closed that immediately. I knew that was not for me. Um, and, and just a, a lot of, amongst a lot of other things. You won't just see me always trying to sell my hustles because you can't perfect everything. And then you're only giving bits and pieces to people. But in regards to the spiritual aspect, right? Everyone here, there are a lot of people here in yoga. It's also another one of those big things that people come and sell, lacking skill and experience, historical teaching. Also trying to sell it at a U.S. price in a Mexican economy. You get what I'm saying? I don't even know. Here's the thing. Stop doing it. Make a plan before you leave the United States. Have a solid, even if your solid monthly income is $1,500, and you know you're gonna get that every month, on the, 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 the fifth of the month, you know that that money is gonna hit your account, then roll with that and build your budget around that $1,500. Then sell all your extra skills and services and hustles on the side, and whatever they get you that's extra but come with a basis of foundation. I know a lot of people have got on YouTube and said, I left with $100, $500, $3,000, $2, XYZ, P. Okay, that's great, that's cool. I respect all that. But just because that person did that does not mean that you can do that. And please don't take encouragement that we all out here doing that because I promise you, the cost of living in Merida is going up. There's not just a large influx of Americans moving here, there's Canadians moving here, and there's also people from European countries and UK and um, I'm trying to think, Australia, where their dollar or their whatever it is is a lot stronger than the US dollar. So everybody wants to say, oh, the Americans is moving there. Uh uh, just because all the people is white, they don't, they don't mean they're American. Just because they're black, that doesn't mean they're American either. Okay? Like a lot of people are moving here from other countries and they're really making the economy go up. All right. In addition to people moving from other countries inside of Mexico, Mexico City being a, a, a big place where a lot of people are moving from because of safety concerns, the cost of living in Mexico City is way higher than it is here in Merida. It's higher than Dallas, okay, where I came from. It's higher than Dallas. It's, it's on par with, um, say, like Austin, 
or Houston. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's more expensive. So they're coming to Merida and they're looking like, oh, shoot, you know what I'm saying? I can either go put my family here, go back and forth, but the cost of living is more affordable to them. Okay, so think about those things. The cost of things are going up, especially as the dollar is struggling more against the peso. So if you come and you're looking and you're living right at the edge of your budget and you're trying to really hustle and hustle and hustle and hustle, and we already know hustle creates depression. All right, if you're hustling and you're really expecting to get these numbers through and all this other stuff, and you're not really hitting the numbers you need to hit, you'll get depressed. And what's that gonna do? That's gonna slow your business down because you're depressed about not getting and hitting the, the, the goals you're making that you need to make to survive, to do things like your daily activities of living and you know doing laundry and eating and you know transportation and all of those things, okay? And keep that in mind. Also keep in mind when you come here and you're trying to sell these skills, stop trying to exploit us. The first person y'all go to, y'all say, oh, buy, buy black, da 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 And we will, and we will, if it's something that we want. But selling herbal somethings for, you know, $200 to other black expats because you're like, you're having the same mindset, you're having the same mentality as the locals that, oh, well, they from the U.S., they got it. You're, you're part of the problem too. You're part of the problem. You're exploiting people as well. This, is that right? This, is that okay? I'm just saying, if people wanna pay for it, they can pay for it. I'm not gonna pay for it. But if I don't pay for it, and other people don't pay for it, don't get mad because we don't wanna pay for it and then end up in a situation like this person being you know, a, a poet, a spiritualist of some sort and things aren't selling okay and you're not making money and now you're getting publicly shamed on facebook because you're not paying your bills and how can you live off of somebody for five four months without paying your bills and you think that it's okay using services using electricity it, it, and taking from somebody that's wrong let's not do that let's be good guests let's have a solid plan before we leave the united states I know it's bad in the U.S. And somebody here, don't tell people what to do with they. I don't care, y'all. Y'all just gonna have to be mad at me, and I'm I'm okay with that because if I don't say it, nobody else is gonna say it. Somebody else is gonna care. Oh, step out on faith, follow your dreams. Faith does not mean be stupid. All right, I'm sorry. I, if we looking at faith, if we go biblically, wisdom and wise, one of the most used words in the Bible, the Quran, the Torah, they all speak about being wise. Okay. Yeah, whatever your religious belief. If your ancestors told you to come here and live and they didn't give you a plan to make money, you need to get rid of them ancestors and go join a new, new family. I'm sorry. If my ancestors told me to come here and didn't give me no plan and didn't give me no guide, it didn't, I'm going I'm to I'm go get myself adopted into a new family and find some new ancestors because apparently, apparently y'all playing in my face. And I don't like that. I don't even like that. So I, I would have to get rid of them ancestors if it was me. Because I'm not about to do it. All right? So I feel like I've rambled on long enough. Stop trying to hustle your way through a hustle, especially in a foreign country. A, it's not safe. B, don't do it. C, it's misleading and deceptive to steal from other people. And D, I'm tired of having this conversation. But I'll be back again if we have another incident. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, just subscribe, share. Until the next one. Bye.